I have just a couple more hyacinths to harvest. Uh, these are the white, which are very, very fragrant. I've showed you some other uh, photographs of some of the salmon color I've had. Just beautiful. And then right in front of them, I have all these beautiful parrot tulips, which are just bursting to open. I'm sure they'll hold off till after the snow tomorrow. So hopefully early next week, they'll be all opening. Those will also be available for people who need a bouquet to give to somebody. These are just a couple of my beds that I have started and that I have prepped for the annuals that will be going in in dahlias. Back here, there's one over here and one over here. Those will hold uh, sunflowers, cutting sunflowers that are singles, which means they only produce one flower between five and six inches tall. And I have about 12 varieties of those. Over here, fenced in, again, because of the deer. These are some of the new Dusty Miller. I don't know if it'll focus in there. There we go. Of the Dusty Miller, they're very, very wide leaf and they're tall for cuttings. In that middle part that you see there, that really bright green, those are stock. I showed you some babies downstairs on the heating mats. Those are doing wonderful out here. Again, a cool weather flower in the back there. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Those are sweet peas, cool weather sweet peas. Very, very fragrant. Um, they're doing wonderful. I put some trellises up in the back so they can grow right up to. Just look at these beautiful Johnny jump ups. Are they just not gorgeous? My friend and I went to a very, very large greenhouse um, in the area and purchased these and I just thought they were gorgeous. I did start some this year, but apparently you have to start them in January in order to get them to bloom this time of year in April. So I just bought some. I had made these half planters on my pottery wheel. I just took a bowl, cut it in half, put backs on them, and then these will hang on a fence. And I think they're really pretty. When these fade out with the heat, I'll throw something else that dangles down, Dryconda Falls, something like that. Okay, we're in the greenhouse now. There's no heat on. I only had it on a timer to be overnight. It's about 42 degrees outside and it's almost 60 in the greenhouse, which is perfect. Uh, these were some daffodils and some grape hyacinths that are just about done. Over here, we have scabiosa, which is a beautiful long cut flower. Over here, let's see what this is. Corn cockle. Uh, again, cool weather flower, very beautiful for cuttings. Back here, we have some yarrow that I grew from seed. These were my baby eucalyptus. So happy that they're turning out wonderful. These were the pansies that I started from seed. And I think I started them in February and that's as big as they are so far. Back here, all Crespedia. Silvery, silvery foliage that gets these little yellow balls on top and they're really great. Right here we have mint, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Uh, cuts wonderful. These right here are dahlias that I started from seed. And let's see where they're from. These are from Florette, which is a uh, wonderful provider of dahlias and cut flower seeds. Um, check her out online, florette.com. She's out in Oregon, grows spectacular dahlias, and is a wonderful inspiration for many people who grow cut flowers and have a flower farm. This right here, my friend, is an oriental poppy. Actually, it's an opium poppy that you grow for very, very large seed heads and for seed, not for anything else. Uh, they grow about five, six feet tall, and the colors are spectacular on them. Pussy willows. I was given these little cuttings from a friend. We used to have tons of pussy willow bushes here. Unfortunately, the deer ate them all down to nothing. Down here, more scabiosa. This is a white color. Very, very tall, spiky flower. What else do I have here? More straw flowers, of course. More and more straw flowers. A couple beautiful purple tulips that I had forced in the greenhouse. I think they're turning out really, really pretty. Up 
up on this grow shelf. This is more Dusty Miller, the very, very large leaf. More dahlia cuttings that are hardened off. Right over here, this is four different kinds of black-eyed Susans. Yeah, there's burgundy, there's yellows, there's oranges, there's green-centered, black-centered, and that's what all of those are. These are my seedlings of all the different basils that have hardened off, except for this one back here. This is two more of the floret seeds for dahlias. They're mystery. They were given uh, free when you bought the book. She has a wonderful book, and I can uh, put a link down below so you can see that. Okay, I took this rack down from uh, on the top of the grow shelf up here in the greenhouse. Right here we have some beautiful silver sage, tons more snapdragons. These right here are the infamous lysianthus, which I started from seed. These and these were started on the same day, which was Christmas Day. This is what they look like. If you've ever seen it, you know what I mean, how beautiful they are. Very, very hard to grow. Sometimes it's easier just to buy the plugs, but I always like a good challenge. Okay, friends, these right here are green nigella called Love in the Mist. Uh, really neat and different type of cut flower. Then over here is a very, very tall type of verbenia. It's tall, grows about three feet tall. Beautiful, tiny little purple, deep purple flowers. I think you'd really enjoy it. Right here, we have another kind of nigella. Uh, I believe this is a, a pink variety versus the green, but you can see I have more green in there. I have some fever few, which is a family of the chrysanthemums. And then I have more scabiosa. These are called, what are they called? Uh, fear kill. No idea if the name's right, but um, they are more of a bright orange. Scabiosa. All right, folks, this is the last tray I'm going to show you here. Three different kind of black-eyed Susans. These are actually a green-eyed Susan, which is a bright green center. Super bright orangish-yellow petals. This one's called Sahara Black-Eyed Susans. They are more of a deeper orange with a burgundy tint. And then the ones that you see kind of back here are called Chim Chimini. These are all varieties I bought. Again, the seed is from Florette, um, and she's in Oregon. Wonderful grower of cut flowers. She also sells her seeds, tubers, things like that.